Hey Premiere Pros, it's Paul Murphy here and today I'm going to show you how you can speed up your editing with some hidden shortcuts in Premiere Pro. Keyboard shortcuts are an essential part of working faster and you can find most of them by going to your keyboard shortcuts. So I'm on a Mac so I'm going to go up to my Premiere Pro keyboard shortcuts. If you're on a PC, you want to go to the edit menu. And for example, if you're looking for the shortcut for the pen tool, I would just type in pen and I can see the shortcut there is P. But in Premiere Pro, there are also hidden shortcuts that you won't find here. And we're going to look at five that I use every single day. When I'm in a project, I'm regularly expanding these bins throughout the day to find footage. But the more I do this, the more I find I have to scroll through my project just to locate anything. Now I could just start closing these bins one at a time, but what I do instead is collapse all of them at once. And the hidden shortcut for this is to hold down the option key and then just click the triangle next to any one of these bins when I do this, they all collapse at once. And this is a toggle shortcut, which means if I do the same thing while all of my bins are collapsed, it's actually going to open up all of my bins. So now I'm looking at all of the media throughout my project. The next hidden shortcut is one that I use probably hundreds of times a day, but not enough editors know about it. So I have this linked clip in my timeline here. And what that means is if I wanna trim this, I can only trim the audio and the video together. But what if I wanted to stop the video here, but keep the audio going, which is what's known as an L cut. Well, what a lot of editors will do is they will lock their audio track, go over to their video and make the adjustment, and then go and unlock the track again. But that's three steps, and the hidden shortcut is much, much faster. I'll just undo this to get it back to where it was. And what I'll do is hold down the Option or Alt key, and now I can override that linked selection just by clicking over the video and trimming that separately. And once I release the option key, it goes back to being a linked selection. And this actually leads us right into our next hidden shortcut. So I have the same clip loaded in my source monitor and I wanna do the same thing. I wanna make an L cut here. But again, I can only adjust the in and out point of the audio and video together. But if I hold down the option and alt key, it's a pretty useful key and I'll move my mouse over the out point until my cursor turns into the trim tool. Now when I click and drag to the left, look at what happens. I've split the audio and the video in half and I can adjust the out point for just the video. And now when I drag this onto my timeline, there's my L cut. Next up, let's take a look at how we can quickly replace a clip in our timeline. So I've got this edit here and it's perfect. Don't touch a thing, but my producer wants me to replace this shot here. So what I've done is I've loaded the replacement shot in my source monitor. I'm gonna find where I want the in point to be. Maybe let's put it there and then I'll press I to set the in point. And now by holding down the which key do you think? <laughs> There's no surprises. It's the Option or Alt key, and I'm gonna click and drag this onto that clip until I see this green circle with a white plus in it. And when I let go, it's replaced the clip. Not only that, but it's kept the color grade from the previous clip. And that'll be true for any effects that you had applied to that previous clip. For our final hidden shortcut, I want to replace this low res time coded clip that I have in my timeline with the high res version. And I've got the high res version loaded over here in my source monitor. Now, the thing about these two videos is they're the exact same length, so I shouldn't need to set an in point. I just want the high res clip's in point to be the same as the low res clip in the timeline. So I'm going to go up to my source monitor and I'll hold down our favorite shortcut for today, Option or Alt, but this time I'm gonna add the Shift key and I'll click and drag until we see that green circle with the white plus and then I'll let go. And our time code is gone and we've got our high res clip in the timeline. So there you are, five hidden shortcuts that are gonna significantly speed up your workflow. If you found any of these useful, please remember to like and subscribe, but also if there's any hidden shortcuts that I haven't mentioned that you use every single day, why don't you add them to the comments below? Thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time.